Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Veltima Fungicide and Pride Seeds. Strauss here with realagriculture.com. I am back here today with another corn school episode and I have here with me Sarah Medlinger who is a market development agronomist with Pride Seeds. How's it going today? Good thanks. How are you Kara? Good. The sun's shining. We're not getting blown away so uh, it's always good. So anyways we're in a field here in southern Alberta that is just starting to emerge. Lots of the southern prairies maybe haven't quite emerged or seeds just going into the ground. So we're here to talk about some of the considerations you're going to have as you're kind of walking those fields and looking at what you have in front of you. Yeah, exactly. So we're kind of going to go through what's going on. And even if your crop hasn't emerged, why you should still dig it up, see what's going on, see what's going on with those roots. Because the roots, that's what's going to grow that plant, right? It's going to get the nutrients and um, the water. So that's really what you're going to look at. So even if it hasn't emerged, we can still do some diagnostics early season just to see how everything's going and get a bit of a better understanding of how the corn root corn plant grows. So if let, let's start there. If your crop hasn't emerged, what are you what are you going to be looking for? So I would say you can still go out, dig up some seeds, and you're just going to check, you know, on that root development, make sure that it's growing properly, um, and then you're going to check for that mesocotyl and coleoptile, and you're going to check your planting depth. Still, it's a great time to check that and just see if you're a bit deep, bit shallow, and just kind of make a mental note of that going into you know next year and when you're going to start working on the planter. So talk about even emergence. This is something we're, we're constantly talking about with corn, but uh, the importance really needs to be driven home. Why, why does it have to be even? It's so important for corn. It's a very poor competitor. So whether it's weeds, whether it's itself. So as we have delayed emergence or uneven emergence, those late emergers, they suffer in yield. And I know in Southern Alberta, we think silage and we don't always necessarily think how that even emergence relates to yield, but we know that in silage 50% at least of your yield in silage, your tonnage is coming from that ear development. So we want to try to uh, just give the, the best start that we can early season and that starts by having nice even emergence. So we're getting that good nice ear development. So whether you're growing grain or silage, having a nice consistent ear is what's going to make your yield. Now when looking at seeding depth, is there a difference between grain corn and silage? No, we're going to keep it the same. So usually we range two and a half at the deepest to about an inch and a half at the kind of shallowest. So I kind of go two inches um, and then that's kind of your sweet spot. And we like to keep it nice and even and consistent throughout the whole field. So two and a half at the deepest if you know we, we are in the prairies have a lot of drought going on especially the southern prairies um, with Manitoba excluded <laughs> um, is that as far deep as you can go to chase that moisture? You know what, you can go deeper, but that always runs the risk of just, you know, for sure, probably delayed emergence and then, you know, leafing out underground. If you need to get into moisture, you know, half an inch of moisture is really what corn needs to kind of get going. Do it, but do it with caution. And, you know, we're getting into the end of May. So if you're going a bit deeper to chase that moisture, you're probably going to get better emergence than you would if you're planting that deep on, you know, May 3rd or May 4th when we, you know, we had some pretty cool spring conditions down here in Southern Alberta. Now the field we're in right now, it's only a couple days uh, emerged out of the ground. You're going out to scout. What are you looking for? So we're going to so we'll walk kind of through it in a little bit and then so we're going to look at the root development we're going to check the seed seeding depth and then you know we noticed a little bit of frost damage on this field so it got you know minus two um nothing that's going to impact your yield it's just a little bit of you know white damage along that first leaf that emerged and so when you're looking at that that frost damage how much frost damage do you see before it becomes a concern? You know, you're saying this isn't a concern, but when does it become a concern? It probably won't become a concern. We know the growing point for corn is below ground until it's at V6, so that's six collared leaves. So, you know, it might set it back a little bit, especially if it stays cool, but, you know, it gets warm, it's going to recover, it's going to put new uh, leaves above ground. So we walked through the field and we picked out some different stages that you're kind of seeing. Do you want to talk me through what we've got here? Yeah, for sure. So basically we plant the try, we plant a field and it starts with just the seed. So you're planting that, you know, inch and a half, two inch deep. Uh, if not a little deeper, you're getting into that moisture, about half an inch of moisture. So once it germinates, the first thing that's going to come out is this radical. So it's always going to emerge from the tip of the kernel and that's going to be your first little bit of germination. So you're going to get that radical emerging and then you're going to get this coleoptile emerging. So that's going to be second and followed by that you're getting these lateral roots. 
So that's kind of the first few structures that make up your corn. And, you know, at this point, it's really surviving on the, uh, the nutrients and the starch that's in the endosperm of this kernel. And as it keeps developing, it's going to keep growing. So this uh, coleoptile is going to keep uh, lengthening. And you're going to see this little ridge start to develop. And that's going to develop about three quarters of an inch below the soil surface. So you, this little stretch here between the seed and this ridge is caused, called your mesocaudal. And then this ridge we kind of call like the brace roots or that's where your brace roots are all going to come out, all your nodal roots. And then this coleoptile, it's protecting um, your first leaves that are going to merge. And this, and eventually once sunlight hits this coleoptile, it's going to rupture and that's going to make your leaves come out of it and poke it to the ground. So we've got a few different stages here just on how far it is. So this one might have been planted a little bit shallow, that's why it's not quite as long. And then we have here that crown where your nodal roots are going to develop. And then these guys were just poking out of the ground. This was just a little bit below ground. And then once it's above ground, we still have this first leaf all rolled up. So it hasn't quite made it, but we still have that uh, root system has been developing and still going on. And then now in, in these two, we have those first um, collard leaves. So right here, we're at V1 versus over here, we're closer to that VE staging. Um, so we've got that collard leaf here. You can see that light band below the leaf where it meets the stem. And that's kind of what we have going on we can just see on these v1 plants that we're starting to get nodal roots so they're developing right um, at that ridge that i mentioned before that growing point right still very far below ground um, so we're just starting to get one nodal root and we usually get a set of nodal roots so two nodal roots per collard leaf so these guys are just getting going and i think in the next few days they'll really start taking off and those nodal roots are always going to develop three quarters of an inch below the soil surface and those are kind of like your money maker roots right once the seed runs out of starch and reserves to grow the plant these roots are going to come in take up the water and the nutrients it needs uh, to keep your plant growing all season long okay thank you very much sir have a good one